Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again, I am Doc Rotten, your host, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-hosts Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreher, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we review The Shed, streaming now on Shudder. All right, with me is my co-host, Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Uh, did your dad ever take you out to the woodshed? Um, <laughs> what? That sounds super creepy. I did have to go get switches, but I didn't have to go out to the shed. But ah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Also joining us is <laughs> Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead girl and friend. Yeah, little Oliver's back. He got a little put, a little bath, and a little cut. See, he feels so good now. So he's yeah. good. Nice clean mm -hmm. dog. Uh, looks like you you brought your own shed with you back behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my she shed. She shed. Oh as no. Said. She, she as, shed. My she my she shed as y'all. My she shed as y'all <laughs> said. <laughs> Say that oh, three no. times again. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good. That's good. All right, and last but not least, <laughs> uh, the one and only Dave Dreher. How you doing, Dave, sir? Hey, why does this hat make my head look so big? What the it hell? doesn't. It looks good, actually. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. why, why do you think it's a hat, sir? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just, <laughs> maybe it's just a huge head, right? Oh, it's okay. the drug stave. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, <laughs> it. that's true, too. Oh, man. You guys. All right. Well, we are here to talk about The Shed, which is playing on Shudder. So let's take a look at our card here. It is uh, uh, began streaming on Octo October. No, August 27th. Uh, it's directed by Frank uh, Sabatello. It's written by Frank Sabatella and Jason Rice. It stars J.J. Warren, love that name, Cody Castro, Sophia Happenin. What's happening? <laughs> Frank What's Warren, happening? <laughs> Timothy Bottoms, <laughs> and uh, Sawan Fallon Hogan. Is it Shibon? Shibon? Shib I think it's whatever. Shibon, Shibon, I think. Shibon? Shibon. Yes. Shibon. I am Shibon. so sorry, Miss Hogan. All right. Uh, synopsis is a hunter gets bitten by a vampire and runs into a shed to avoid sunlight. Stan, a 17-year-old on probation, and a supervisor grandpa live next to it. Stan's bullied high school buddy can use a monster. All right. Uh, that kind of awkwardly ties uh, the threads together. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a boy and his monster is, wow, the that they come out right, but that's what it is. Uh, so, mm. so what we do is we uh, we give our first thoughts, our first impressions, then we talk about the movie a little bit, and then we wrap things up with our final thoughts, our score, and our favorite scene. Uh, so let's start things off. Crystal Cleveland, you're up first. What mm. is kind of feeling your first impression of the shed? Okay, so when I first started watching this movie, I actually thought, oof. Oof. The acting, the acting is so bad. However, I also thought this reminds me a little bit of the mother from Sleepaway Camp. I don't know why the whole feeling of this first dream sequence really kind of oh, did a number on me. Yeah, good. yeah. See, so as soon as they oh, wake up, uh... yeah, as soon as they wake up, then the acting, I'm like, oh, okay, thank God, because it was like <laughs> truly horrible. But what's interesting about that too is the sleepaway camp thing kind of comes back up because they say the line, eat shit and live. Do you remember that? Mm. Yeah, so I don't know if that was actually intentional or I was just seeing that. The fact that they say the line kind of makes me think, anyway. Uh, the movie is shot well, and I think it's acted very well as, as well. The, the guy who plays the vampire, I love him. He's super weird, and he's been in a lot of stuff, and I really liked him. Although he doesn't get enough screen time in this. Oh, no. He's very Frank, quick. Frank Whaley, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. He's my kind of weird. But uh, this, this movie just, it was good, but it doesn't break any new ground, and one of my biggest issues with this movie is that it has a massively huge plot hole Ooh. that I, I bothered me so badly. I, I'm like, it, it, it's glaringly bad. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I can. No. It's basically, it's basically when uh, the fact that no one comes looking for the deputy sheriff 
and they were supposed to have a meeting at, she was supposed to come get the grandpa to have a meeting at the school and meet everyone there. And no one comes and nothing happens. And it's like hours yep. and hour. It's in, that's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That, that That is a huge plot hole that was not ever remedied. And it, if you can ignore that, it was, it's was much better, but I just kept thinking about it. And I was like, Hmm. And now that you said it, now I'm now I'm perturbed. Yeah, the end fight. The, I really enjoyed the end fight scene. I really had a I, I had a decent time. It's it's a vampire movie, so ooh, did I just give it? you'll you know no, it, no, right right away? We said it right yeah, you know right away. So, but it's so it's okay. It's just it doesn't break any new ground, and it's not you know perfect. Like I said, major plot hole. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I was entertained. Yeah. Every time I see Frank uh, Whaley, I go, is that a big kahuna burger? <laughs> um, <laughs> Dave, you're up next. What's your first impression of the shed? Uh, yeah, I think Crystal will hit it uh, right on the head here. It's not a it's not a bad movie, but it doesn't really break any ground. Uh, the uh, the first vampire is uh, Mr. Barlow from Salem's Lot. I mean, yes. he just mm -hmm. is. Uh, and uh, I kind of like that. I, I think that's a good vampire look. I like that vampire look. Uh but yeah, it doesn't really break any new ground. I mean, we kind of tread into a little Christine territory with the bullying at the school. And uh, you notice the guy's name was Dahmer. They kept calling him Dahmer. And I'm like, Are they really, they're going to name a guy after Jeffrey Dahmer. But mm -hmm. I noticed in the credits, they spelled it differently. Uh, but uh, they still call him Dahmer. Uh, so there's all kinds of little tie-ins into the horror world. I, I agree with you, Crystal. I think there definitely was a, a sleepaway camp homage there. If oh, you wow. Will. Nice. Um, you know, and it, it yeah, it's okay, but a, a lot of it really doesn't make a lot of sense. But I don't know that it needs to. I'm, it, it kept me interested till the end. I watched the whole thing, so that's good. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah, that is, yeah. That good. That good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, it was, it was okay. Yeah, if you watch it till the end, mission accomplished, right? So. Yeah, mission yeah. accomplished. It got me all the way, all the way through to the end of it. I like who played the girlfriend. I thought she was quite good. Uh, oh yeah, Sophia yeah. Hoppenden. Oh, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what's happening. Roxy. <laughs> no. Roxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I liked her. I thought she was quite good. Me too. I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sorry. <laughs> no. uh, really? Yeah, 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 that's me. All right, Jeff, Moore, <laughs> what is your first impression of The Shed? Well, I like this quite a bit, actually. Um, I thought it was a good old fashioned horror movie rather than. Well, I won't say anything in particular, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I liked it. Now, the plot hole, I do remember thinking about that, and I, I may, you know, I probably just justified it because I didn't want to want it to hurt <laughs> the movie. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, the kid ran away from school, so I guess the meeting's off, and this, you know, so yeah, somebody should have come looking for the sheriff. Yeah. But other than that, I wouldn't have thought too much about it. The uh, although she may have she may have lived alone, I don't know. It was late. Maybe her shift was done. I don't think the I meeting just, was canceled. Regardless of the kid running away, I think they still would have expected yeah. the grandfather to come back. I mean, that's insane. The, it, it's just it was yeah. But the thing that bothered me, there was one choice that the characters make uh that evening in the house that i was just like screaming no 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 mm. and it just almost kind of ruined the end for me however I, I i did my best and so i don't know i enjoyed it i enjoyed the acting i thought they all did a good job acting the uh uh and i didn't even recognize until i looked at the credits timothy bottoms as, as was, grandpa was grandpa <laughs> yeah. um didn't recognize him uh, and he played a good cranky, uh, cranky some bitch. Some bitch. old guy like that. Yeah, <laughs> some bitch. That was, that, yeah, he, that was he was a he was a some bitch. That's sure. Bitch. Hey, the, the, the lady that played the sheriff. What do I know her from? She was in some. Uh, was she in Supernatural? Uh, I don't know. I thought she. she, I, thought she in, I thought she was in Men in Black. Like the isn't she yes. the one who's yes? yes. She's yeah, in she's in something else. I'm telling like. It seems I was like about you, it too, but I somebody that you see a lot. But I, I had a well. She was she was channeling the that. she was channeling the chick from Fargo. I mean, she was playing she that was. woman. <laughs> chick, you know, but but her voice. I was like, damn, I know her from somewhere. And I'm like, I think it's that lady you that uh, that the spacecraft steals. Uh, I can't remember the character's name when uh, in the original Men in Black. Yeah, 
The, right, yeah. right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she, yeah. yeah. She was in uh, uh, Wayward Pines too. I don't know if you watched that or not. Yeah. I did watch Wayward Pines. You're right. She was in that. Um, but anyway, okay. Uh, okay. the other she's one. A good character. That I, yeah, she was mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. She always kind of reminds me of, and I forget her name too. But for some reason, she reminds me of the woman that played uh, Calamity Jane and Deadwood, even though she's oh. not. Yeah, obviously not her, but um, anyway, uh, the guy that played Marble, the 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 dickhead, basically Chris mm -hmm. Petrovsky, he had a recurring part on Madam Secretary, where he was okay. kind of a Russian uh, agent asset kind of thing. But anyway, I'd seen him before, and I thought this was a, this was a big change from what he played, and he 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 did a good job of really really being dislikable. <laughs> he was so anyway. Was, yeah. yeah, I dug it. I dug the whole shed thing. I dug the, you know, don't go in there. I I had fun with it. It had some good tension, some good scares. Um, just that one decision towards the end uh, irritated me, but they, you know, they people in horror movies do stupid things a lot. <laughs> a lot of, so, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. I love the fact there that is. They, yeah, and I love the fact they keep looking down and seeing the sheriff's arm. Spoilers. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Get on>! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh no! Yes, nobody notices yeah. it first. Uh, I, I, I really did like people's reaction when they, because everybody eventually made their way to the barn. Spoilers. That's what's going to happen. It's called the shed. I guess it's a shed, not a barn. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it, it's definitely a shed. It's too, too small for a barn. But uh, yeah. uh, they, uh, they made the most of that. <laughs> well, I think I do think that they were very smart with some of the ways that they did certain things. Like sometimes, you know, just blood would come from underneath the door. Yeah. They're creative in. I mean, I don't. I, I'm assuming this was to save money and stuff or whatever. But they were creative with a lot of the kills and gore to make it cheaper. You know, someone goes up and then there's like a bloodbath, which I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. So there were some things that I enjoyed about it. As well, like I'm, like I said, I liked it. You know, I mean, that plot hole though. Not plot hole. Yeah, I mean, the only people that show <laughs> up are the, are the the friends of the the ticket. Yeah, so they care more <laughs> than the school and the rest yeah. of the police yeah. department, apparently. Yeah, because everybody's car is still there. You know, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah, and 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 like they would have the those kids would have the nerve to act up like that if the sheriff's car was there. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those kids are punks. I just yeah. And he and mm -hmm. I, well, I did like his reaction. When the gun was in his face, and he was such a fussy. But um, <laughs> I but I also liked the chemistry between uh, JJ and, and Sophia, and then their friend Cody or Dahmer. Uh, Cody plays Dahmer. Stan and Roxy, mm -hmm. I guess I should mm -hmm. say. Um, I I like the I, I you know, it, it felt I I I felt like I knew who these people were. Okay, and so another reference. I kind of feel like the friend was kind of the Fright Night Ed character In a too. Way. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that the, that this person, whoever wrote it, I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember that, but whoever wrote it was definitely like taking. I mean, but it was an homage. It was clearly it was done in the right way because yeah. they were subtle. You know, that's how you take from an artist and put stuff together. Yeah, I liked how it worked out. Okay. Yeah. So, so Dave, we talked about the gore. Does the gore satisfy a gore hound such as yourself? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, they uh, obviously didn't have much money to spend, but I think they spent it wisely. Uh, you know, they did some shortcuts, like Crystal was pointing out, but uh, they made sure that the uh, the red stuff flowed to a sufficient level uh, mm -hmm. without without having to uh, spend a lot of money to do it. Yeah, you got to appreciate that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> there is a body count. There, there is, is a body count. count. Mm -hmm. I, I got, um, maybe it's just me, Jeff, you tell me if it's just me, but I, once they got to the house, I got a little confused about who was who. Um, oh, and maybe it was just me and I'm losing everything here. The guy that, hit, that, that was with him had that big bushy Afro thing. I, I didn't get it. Right. No, I, right. You no, know, it was like, is uh, I would just I was like, which vampire is this? <laughs> you know? Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, yeah, yeah. I could see how that. Well, got a one of them confusing. was Dahmer, right? 
Right. Yeah. 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 No, it was another kid. It was that other kid. Well, whatever it was, they they were all kind of yeah. Like, okay. Dark, I was like, what's going on? I got a little confused, but I think it was just me trying to. Well, but at to the your end, point, you knew what happened, right? Yeah. Like, yes. you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. To yeah. your point, I was actually thinking they probably didn't even need Frank Whaley for the vampire parts. Yeah. Because the makeup was so much, you couldn't recognize him anyway. Yeah, I, I wonder, if, I wonder I if he was just the day player at the I beginning of the movie. It. <laughs> yeah, that makes me so sad because he's so good. Well, I think he, hmm. was it him that came up out of the ground? I mean, it felt like that was his scene. Maybe. Yes. That was him. That was him. Yeah. Yeah. So there was some. Of he it. left the shed. Uh, uh, Dahmer said he'll be back, and then right. he would have got dark. He raised up. Yeah, I, I like that scene. Oh, I'm so, saying he was there. It's just that they could have had somebody else play him with the makeup on. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Him. well, you barely uh, saw uh, as well. Are we happy with that? Flashes, are we, happy that right? we, we don't get to see a whole lot of them during the middle of the film. You know, they kind of hold him back until the end. I mean, we get it. We know he's there, and he does stuff. Yeah, he's popping well, through. I, was, I don't know. <clears throat> you see I was okay with it. I mean, yeah. the, uh, most of the scenes are in the sunlight, except for the end. And, mm -hmm. you know, he can't come into the sunlight. So, which I thought they made real good use of that. Um, so, my biggest question, and I thought and, and, and this might be a little bit of spoiler, is okay, why couldn't he leave the barn? And if he did, why would he come back? <laughs> Did they establish that the barn, not the not the barn, the shed? Um, sorry, this is movie is called the shed. I call it the shed, but why? There why is a movie always, called the barn. There is. It's really good. Maybe because that's a safe. Maybe that was just a safe place for him. I don't know. Was it though? I mean, yeah. well, I mean, close to home. Well, well, he knew that the kid already knew his booty was in there and he wasn't dead. Right. Okay. So the kid had some balls when he drilled some holes at the top, but he yeah. still wasn't he didn't have enough balls to kill him. Because really, who who wouldn't have got their damn trailer, hitched that shit up, and freaking tore that shit down? Ultimately, right. like that's what I would have done. Or set it on fire, do anything, right? I mean, yeah, fire can get uncontrollable. Yeah, yeah. Though I just worry that maybe. I don't know. No, I guess but, it doesn't matter. I think too, it went pretty fast because I don't think there was very many. What was there? Maybe two nights in this. There was there was That's, the night that um, that yeah, he, that so. Bane gets turned into the vampire, and then we find him right away that morning. And then yeah. I think there's only there was one at more least night like that two he stays more. there. I think there was two. No, there was two. Yeah, I think was there? because he went to school and then came back home and then went back to school and that's when they. That's when the shit he yeah. definitely had time the second second day to burn that sucker down. Yeah, he could yeah. have. Could have. He could have done it when he did the drill the holes. He yeah, was mad have. about those dreams. He was more upset by the fact that that thing was giving him dreams, nightmares. I have another question. Yeah. I have another question. Did anybody ever see anybody use a stake? No. No, I don't think so. Well, wasn't there uh, a scene where he was, he was serving up steaks? I was gonna say he was he was like during during the Rambo scene when they were gearing up, he he made a bunch of them, but yeah, yeah they never got used. Yeah, he I made mean, a whole they, bunch of steaks and they stuck them in their belt, but I never saw anybody use one. They yeah, were throwing yeah. knives and using hitting Shotgun. them with pans and you know stuff. So mm. now that was a different mm. one. I missed one. that. I did not pay attention. They made a bunch of stakes and I didn't see them use them, but I'm no. not saying they, you know. They never had to get to them. It all went to hell before they needed to pull the stakes out. There you go. There you go. All yeah. right. Well, let's let's do this. Let's wrap this up. Let's give our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. But before we do, let's hit the subscribe button down below, everybody. We need subscribers. Uh, hit the like button, hit the bell so you can be notified because you want to hear about the next one coming up. You know you do. And leave us some comments. Uh, it's playing on Shutter. You have Shutter. Watch it. Let us know what you thought. Uh, but now let's give our final thoughts. Uh, I'm going to do the same order if I can remember. Like and Crystal. <laughs> Just to help you out there. Okay, so I absolutely, it's on Shutter. I love Shutter. You should have Shutter. See. And you should watch it. It's absolutely watchable. Just forget about that big plot hole I warned you about, and you'll be fine. Yep, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a uh, teetering between a two point seven five and a three. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and put up three. <laughs> it's because yeah. it's vampires. Yeah, yeah. It's vampires. I'm like, you know what? It's not bad. And my favorite scene is <laughs> is a scene I actually laughed out loud about. It is the Roxy stab. That was so funny. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought it was so funny. I was I was like, oh my god, so good. So <laughs> that one really worked for me. Oh man. Well, Dave, you know, we were mentioning uh I think it was like two, three, maybe four weeks ago, we got our first vampire movie of the year. We're like, yay, vampires. We have yeah. We've gotten a vampire like every week. I know. Yeah. Awesome. Vampires. So yeah. give us Something. your final thoughts, your score, and uh, favorite scene for this vampire film, The Shit. Uh, yeah, if you got Shudder, uh, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. Check it out. It's not a bad film. Uh, there are some good things in it. Uh, they don't reinvent the wheel, and I'm not sure that they have to. Uh, my favorite scene, uh, it, I think probably the best acted scene in the whole thing, uh, when the uh, when the bully shows up at the house and, uh, and going, is going to beat the shit out of the... I, I can't remember the character names. I apologize. But then uh, Dahmer shows up and then he kind of loses his shit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I thought that was really good. I mean, uh, Dahmer uh, flipping out. There was some good acting going on there. Um, so I really liked that whole scene. I actually rewound it and watched it a second time. Cause I thought, damn, I like this. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2.75. And, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's on shutter. Check it out. It's a, it's not a long watch and it's entertaining. Yeah. I think the young cast do a great job here. So, mm, oh I, yeah. I to mention that. All right. Like Jeff. I said, it, it changes when you watch that first scene, you're going to go. Ugh. Yeah, it felt like a sitcom show. It was like, what's yeah, 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 very much so. <laughs> yeah, all right, Jeff, you're up next. What is your final thoughts, your score, and favorite scene? Can you? Well, I obviously <laughs> like this better than Dave and Crystal. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, despite the plot hole, I liked it because it had, for me, it had some good tension. It was a good vampire movie and had some uh, scary crap in it, you know. Give me some chills. So I'm giving this a 3.5. Nice. Despite the, God, it just drives me nuts when people do stupid stuff in horror movies. But anyway, and my favorite scene, this is going to sound really weird. Uh, but I'm going to pick the scene where Stan and Roxy are talking and she, outside the school, and she's talking about sacrificing her principles to get along and uh, he's saying, and that's not going to last long. I'll be out of here in a couple of years. And he goes, yeah, but then you'll have to do it again. I don't know. I like that. Cause I think that's what happens, right? You know, yeah. we get all these people in these uh, positions of power and they're always sacrificing their principles to do something. I don't know what, but uh, anyway, I like that. I like that dialogue. Yeah, I, I thought the dialogue when our younger cast has to interact with each other, it, it was it was on point from uh, much of the time. And then it got silly when they, you know, were fighting vampires, but uh, the school part of it, I thought, and uh, it, really <laughs> it, um, silly. <laughs> it did get silly. Uh, I, I enjoyed this. It was it was fun to see, uh, you know, this, this set up. I, I, I kept wondering why he would stay in the shed, but, you know, I had to keep going with it. I like the idea that um, you know, there was conflict about what do you do when you have a vampire in the shed? You can, you know, <laughs> you know, do you do you do you kill it or do you try to use it for your own benefit? And Dahmer, of course, takes that one by the hand. Um, I, I I liked our characters. I uh, uh, I really wish the vampire was would have changed more like the vampire we get at the beginning. I thought I really like that look for vampires. And I think it was just a young one though. I think it, that takes time. Yeah. Well, that's true. Maybe that. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> you know, so it, it worked, but it didn't really, um, I wasn't super impressed with it. Uh, I wasn't overwhelmed with it, you know, or, you know, and I wasn't, but I wasn't underwhelmed. Right. It was just kind of, it, it hit, it hit, it was in that sweet spot, I guess, that you like it. Um, it certainly is fun to watch. It's certainly worth watching. Uh, but I don't think it's going to creep into top 10 or even even uh, you know, honorable mention this year for me. Uh, mm, yeah. I'll, still, I'll still give it a three, though. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's deserving. It's, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. 
So, the, so my favorite scene is um, when Roxy shows up and, and and we see the arm for I think the third time. <laughs> and she reacts. I mean, she just loses her crap, and you know, uh, but but she doesn't run away, which I like. You know, she just kind of goes up to hill a little bit, and then she's like pacing back and forth, waiting for for Stan to come back out. But it was just I I just I I don't know. You know, comedy usually you, that third beat, right? You, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, now you're repeating a third time. It's funny, and um, yeah, the the arm, the yeah, that I loved it. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so there you go. That's our review for The Shed playing now on Shutter. So watch it. Uh, you, you'll enjoy it. Uh, uh, let us know what you think. Give us some comments down below. So, Crystal, Jeff, Dave, thank you for joining me to talk about this film. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. For thank having you. Me. I did. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, Shutter. Okay. If you haven't heard, Shutter is uh reeling in what 61 days of Halloween? oh yeah of Halloween. 61 days of we're Halloween. we're going to be talking about each other a lot in the next couple months uh and they have some really cool stuff coming up so <laughs> uh we, we are loving shutter we're just gonna say all right with that let's say good night good night good night <laughs>